Hi, my name is Landon Marina. I'm a successful single mom who's made many mistakes along the way. And those mistakes helped me to understand how to get closer and closer to my goals in a more efficient way. As a single mom, I realized I can still do as I planned on doing for my children, which was um, being home for them when they needed me to be. I ended up looking for places that would allow me to work from home. They have quite a few different expectations that you need to meet in order to work for their company. I was on a low income budget and I didn't even have space in the apartment to do that. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a home office on a low income budget. Home office is the first thing I put up when we move into a location. And I recently moved, so first, where are you going to have your office space? Is it gonna be in a closet? Closets were great. I even figured out how to homeschool my daughter um, while working from home and a closet space plus her school space as well as my closet space was my office space. I have these boxes, these storage boxes. Those storage boxes I can use for clothes. I have some coats in there right now and seasonal items. These are things that you could do to free up the space in your closet. Divide your bedroom up into an office space and make a cubicle for yourself. Shelf on either side of you could create sort of a division in your room so you don't have to always see your office and you can leave your workspace your workspace for work and your bedroom for your bedroom in the bookshelves make sure they're turned out so that you can decorate or utilize them in your bedroom space or your office space when you're on the outside of that you're gonna want to probably put a, a painting or um, you can make it like a calendar. You could go ahead and do quite a few things and get creative with it. Okay, speaking of being creative, it takes me to a second thing I want you to know when you're thinking of your office space. What sort of desk will you have? So you could use one of the things I just mentioned, bookshelves, right? These are things that are so cheap to get. You can get bookshelves so cheap at the thrift shop, Facebook Marketplace. Craigslist, you know, people are throwing them out on the side of the street all the time. These are types of things you want to be thinking about as far as your desk. Do you want a stand-up desk? Do you want a sitting desk? What kind of desk do you want? And then look around and see the objects we have around the house that we could be utilizing for that purpose other than what they're being utilized for. Currently, I am actually using a shelf that is built into my closet and I do a stand-up desk typically any desk I make because I think it leads to my third point you want to think about when creating a home office space on a low-income budget everything I do as a single mom and especially when I was on a low-income budget is consider how everything I do will improve or aid or assist in my mental and physical health. As a parent, doing it solo is a lot. We eat right, we exercise, we think about the things we feed our heart and minds because we need to be at our best. If you do do a sitting desk, make sure your chair is going to assist you in your health, right? That can assist you with your back and things of that nature when you're sitting for long periods of time. And so I know that's important for your mental, uh, physical health, and therefore your emotional health. Decor, making it all come together, that's healthy for me because that makes me remember you know, where we're going, where we're at. Yes, you might be on a low income budget, but this right here doesn't say low income budget. This one says I'm a boss, I'm successful, I'm making things work. I put marble contact paper um, here on the walls. You can get it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and contact paper will jazz up anything. As I mentioned prior with your bookshelves and making creating a space within your bedroom for your home office, contact paper can be on the back of the bookshelves. So on either side, it looks nice and you don't have to worry about it being an eyesore. So as far as money and, and creating a work from home office on a low income budget, it doesn't have to be a lot, right? This, the contact paper, 
that's a dollar you can get at the Dollar Tree. They also have it at Lowe's and that can be uh, $10 or under. This was a $6 monitor. This was another $6 monitor. And um, I got those from a thrift shop. And I, I said, yep, that, that answers everything I'm asking for. Uh, mouse, this is something else that, this is one I actually purchased recently, but I've had others um, that you can get same exact location at the thrift shop. And this is just a towel. That's all it is, it's a light blue towel that goes with this blue. And so it makes it just all come together. And that's what you can do too. This is a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, and a dollar. This is all from Dollar Tree. This was $5 at the Family Dollar, or the Dollar General, Dollar General, I do believe. That was at the Dollar General, $5. And this is like a uh, picture that inspires me to remember. You're doing this for a reason. Go ahead, go to work. Yes, you're at home. So do not let money hold you back from anything, especially if you're a part of your low income budget. Um, journey that is not something that you will have to stay in. I don't care if that's where you what you've seen on your life Maybe as a child that doesn't happen to you and more importantly, even if it is you This isn't a low. This is a nice office. I love my office space, right? If you are going to go ahead and take the stand-up desk approach that I've loved for the last seven years, then I would suggest you getting a special floor mat. I think the most expensive thing I actually put money into um, was, let me show you. This one has been through some things. I won't even show you the other side, but it goes back and forth like this and I rock in it while I'm standing. And it also, of course, helps me, uh, what is it called? Health, your health is very important. because we want honesty back in our lives. I truly believe that you get back what you put in. And when your company asks you, hey, do you have a space where you don't have the computer facing the door? I can easily say yes. Honesty is something we want, and so let's do it. We are. With this home office space, we can honestly say to our employers, yes, it is secure home office, I'll be happy to show you. I don't have a problem with that. My monitor is not facing the window. Nobody can see it. I'm in a closet, um, for goodness sakes. So you're not gonna have a problem with that. And the same thing if you did it in your bedroom. That's important, it meets your company standards and it just adds to who you are. Successful, right? You're a successful single mom. You're a successful, you fill in the blank. And this is what we do. We do things successfully. This I've been doing for seven years. I'm working from home and I have created home offices um, primarily out of closet spaces and it's worked great for me. I hope that you can also find value in this. If you already work from home, tell me what do you do um, to keep the kids quiet? Do the kids stay with you? Um, how is your work from home space? Please tell me in the comments below what your biggest challenge is for working from home. I'd love to hear about those. I'm pretty sure we have stories we could swap out. Um, but more importantly, we have mistakes that we could share and elevate each other with. Um, money is not a problem when making, uh, creating a home office space on a low income budget. You can do it. And so that's what I've been able to do here and I hope you'll be able to do it soon. Go ahead, let me know in the comments what have you learned from this. If you found any value, please click the like button. Any questions you have, don't forget to find me on Instagram, Pinterest, um, things of that nature. I'll put the details in the link below. Thank you. Share it with other people who you know can also benefit from this information. I really appreciate it and I thank you. Just remember, please take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself.